is where what is called as a subsartorial canal. Okay, majority of time what we're doing is low femoral triangle block. Okay, so there's a difference between that. The easiest way to actually find the saphenous nerve, okay, is feel for the patella, okay, and then where your little finger comes, forefinger, yeah, little finger comes. What you do, you put your probe there, and you look for the sartorius muscle. Or medially, or medially, or medially. Sartorius, okay? Mm -hmm. And now we look for the saphenous nerve underneath the sartorius. Okay. Okay? It's, the, it's, it's very much jumps out at you. And that's actually a true saphenous nerve block, suprapatellar, okay? Just saphenous, not doing anything else, okay? So that's, that's your subsartorial uh, sort of, you know, uh, approach to your saphenous nerve. The other way to do it, you go mid-thigh level. Okay, now we increase the depth. And you look for superficial femoral artery pulsations. Mm -hmm. Top bit is your sartorius muscle. That's your adductor longus, vastus, medialis. medialis. So if you want to do an adductor canal block, now adductor canal, or this is the lower femoral triangle block because there are lots of nerves, okay? And I'm gonna freeze this image. Superficial femoral artery, underneath this sartorius muscle, there is a subsartorial plexus. The plexus is made by anterior and posterior part of the obturator nerves, okay? Then you've got your nerve to vastus medialis, okay, right? Then you've got saphenous there as well, okay? And your aim, if you want to do this block, this is a field block, you want to bring the needle in and you want to puncture what they call this as a vaso, vaso adductor membrane, which is on the top of the artery. Mm -hmm. So once you puncture the membrane, the postulators, it will spread underneath the sartorius muscle, it will get you vast nerve to vastus medialis. It will get you your saphenous nerve. Okay, and we'll also get possibly the obturator branches of the uh, um, of the articular branches of the obturator nerve as well. Okay, so that's your adduct uh, the low femoral triangle block rather than an adductor canal block. Okay, so just to sort of you guys to to orient you guys, it all depends on which part of the femoral artery you do. So look at the shape of the sartorius muscle. Look at that, such a big muscle, right? Yeah? So if you keep going down, keep going down and look at the shape of the sartorius muscle now. So it's when the artery goes underneath the sartorius muscle, that's too high, okay? So that's your higher femoral triangle. When the artery goes underneath and goes away from the sartorius muscle, and that's actually at the mid-thigh level. So that's sartorius muscle moving medially, your artery is moving, laterally okay. and this is this is the area where you could actually do it at the mid-thigh level and that will get all your nerves that will get that nerve that nerve that nerve okay and you'll get your subsartorial plexus as well okay so that's your low femoral triangle and uh, saphenous i showed you four finger breaths just about the sort of you know you put your probe there go medially look for the sartorius muscle and look for underneath the sartorius muscle the saphenous nerve Okay, so it's an individual approach to the saphenous nerve. So if somebody's having an ankle surgery, mm. and if you want to get a saphenous nerve block, just do it there. Okay, all right. It's so very lateral. It's very medial. Yeah, it? very medial. Yeah. So what is the disadvantage of using?